From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Huawei South Africa has showcased its newly opened 14,000 square meter artificial intelligence powered green intelligent warehouse in Johannesburg. Natasha Odendahl tells us more. The smart facility boasts advanced technologies and intelligent systems to enhance efficiency and security and reduce costs which the company says marks a major step forward for the logistics and warehousing sectors. It is a great privilege to stand before such a remarkable gathering today as we unveil a landmark achievement in the logistics and warehouse sector of Africa. A leading smart warehouse equipped with green power, intelligent e-security and modern digital logistics. So this smart warehouse serves as Huawei central hub in South Africa, providing continuous supply capabilities to support our customers and partners in the region. In our pursuit to enhance efficiency and reduce costs, we have invited, initiated the intelligent transformation of our warehouse logistics system. Currently, we have implemented smart warehouse solutions in the Asia Pacific, Latin America, and the Middle East. Notably, the South Africa Central Warehouse marks Huawei's first smart warehouse on the African continent. The warehouse is driven by Huawei's green power solutions, e-security systems and modern logistics, called the GEM framework. The GEM framework is delivered through a digital warehouse management system, which makes it possible to automate 60% of daily processes. AI-led solutions allow the facility to achieve an overall increase in efficiency of between 70 and 80 percent when compared with traditional warehouses. We have two warehouses here on site. We have our S9 and we have our S10 on that side. Total size of this warehouse is about 15,000 square meters, allowing for 14,000 worth of actual uh, warehousing space and 12,000 square meters worth of storage space in our facility, the other being the operational side of things. In this facility, I know it's not much, but we do pack a punch and we do have quite a big inbound outbound. We are run by 34 operationally based staff in this facility. Um, in terms of our security side, it's a modest size of 22 because our security system is able to take that load off in terms of the manual operations during the security. It's more and an automated way of things. Um, like Mr. Will mentioned, in terms of our capacity, we are looking at about 2,500 uh, cubic meters worth of equipment outbounded um, on a daily basis. Traditionally, in this side of the warehouse, we are looking at about 1,500 uh, cubic meters of outbound with this type of, of uh, facility and infrastructure that we have. Um, in terms of our uh, uh, outbound per day, we're looking at about 1,500 cubic meters worth of outbound per day. Traditionally, in this warehouse, like I said, we're looking at about 800, so looking between 70 and 80 percent efficiency improvement in this facility and overall um, through our GEM solution. In line with the green power solutions component of the GEM framework, the facility uses a PV system supported by a Huawei inverter on each building, which generates around 90 percent of the facility's daytime energy needs. It enables companies to meet their own energy needs and achieve further returns on investment by trading excess power back to the grid. Under the e-security feature, an intelligent camera system provides 24-7 full-color clear coverage and AI-enabled features to detect safety hazards and security incidents. The modern logistics component ensures that picking operations in the warehouse is 100% paperless, using PDA scanners for real-time operations. The role of warehouse pickers at the smart facility has also evolved, owing to the use of automated guided vehicles and automated guided forklifts, which increases efficiency by enabling pickers to process around 110 lines an hour, compared with traditional warehouses that process only up to 60 lines an hour. That's Creamy Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News Daily Email Newsletter.